Okay, so this is a video about bed probing and compensation in Redeem. Bed probing is important for understanding and fixing any problems with the first layer laid down by the printer. If the bed is not flat, chances are you'll get warping during the print or it can even come loose completely. Bed probing means using a sensor of some kind, either mechanical like a switch, inductive, infrared, electrical connection, or even something as exotic as an accelerometer can be used. The important thing is that it can detect the position of the bed in relation to the frame of the 3D printer. Once data has been collected about the bed, that data can be used to correct any skew found directly in software, or it can be used to guide the user in calibrating the bed manually. In either case, it's a good thing to get a visual representation of what the bed looks like. The main command that handles everything about the bed probing and compensation is the G29 command. However, in Redeem, that command is really only a macro command, meaning that it consists of a range of subcommands. So a helper command has been made that can generate a suitable G29 command. Writing G29C for circular beds or G29S for square beds generates a bunch of subcommands that get stored directly in the config file. There's a range of options that can be added to tweak the code generation for this. Once this has been set up, the G29 code can be run. This will produce the probe data and also create and apply a bed compensation matrix that will be stored in your local config file. To test the work of the bed compensation matrix, add an S to the G29 command. That should reveal a flat bed as seen through the eyes of the printer. For more information, read through the blog post that goes with this video. That's it. Enjoy your flat bed.